Tonight, a man is dead following a fire at a halfway house in Kansas City, Kansas. Neighbors woke up to the flames. And only on Fox 4, some video caught on a ring doorbell camera shows some of this. Fox 4's Reagan Porter has reaction from a woman who witnessed the drama unfold. Kansas City, Kansas fire investigators say the fire likely started towards the back of the house in the kitchen. That's where firefighters found a man dead. Neighbors woke up concerned, seeing flames out their windows. I came out that door right there and the flames were like right here and I was like, holy moly, we should probably get out of here. Amy Randolph lives next door to the home that went up in flames Sunday night just after 11. She woke up to someone knocking on her door and windows, then walked outside to see this. We were scared, but also just um, trying to make sure like get the dogs and the people out. Assistant Chief Scott Shoneman says this is a halfway house and three people lived in the home. One man was found dead inside on the first floor in the kitchen area. It's believed he was the only person inside. They ran the hose through um, that fence right there that comes down our little steps and into the backyard. Randolph shared this video of firefighters pulling a fire hose through her backyard. Shoneman says they took an aggressive approach, pulling lines through the front door. He says once inside, firefighters found the stairway to the second floor burned out. So then we had to go to plan B, and so truck 14 took a ladder and used that to get access to the second floor, so we took an additional line to the second floor to help put the fire out on the second floor because the fire had extended there too. Shoneman says crews got the fire out in about 20 minutes. While the cause is still under investigation, Shoneman reminds people to have working smoke detectors and says don't leave your oven, stove or candles unattended. Right now investigators are working to determine the cause of the fire. Reagan Porter, Fox 4, working for you.